Hey everyone, Silent CL here. Welcome to another video with me. This time around, we'll be unboxing more Macross Delta figurines from the Crane King series. So, um, these actually Freya has just been recently released. Um, while Mirage here um, has been released since the 14th of December. Now, uh, the thing about Mirage is she's pretty hard to obtain uh, in the country where I'm from. Uh, apparently, there has been a lot of licensing issues with Macross Delta and whichever companies are able to retail the products um, or even bring them in. So, that's one of the main issues that I had faced when uh, uh, discussing the uh, availability of this figure from various uh, figuring stores. So, if you guys don't know, uh, Crane King basically is the company under Banpresto or rather um, the series under Banpresto uh, for UFO catcher prizes. So basically you can only obtain normally these figurines from playing the UFO catcher games in the arcades. Um, but sadly to say, Singapore, we don't have these prizes in our usual arcade uh, retailers. So um, we the the figuring shops in Singapore basically had to import this um, through other means. That's why it has been rather difficult to obtain um, some of the Crane King SQ quality figurines. So um, basically, what I'm gonna do is unbox this too and show you how the figurines look like. So I'm finally completing my entire Wakure. Um, team with Mirage added into the, the group uh, even though she is not a <laughs> well create member but <clears throat> this figuring itself is very rare even even for an official um, figuring or even artwork uh, you rarely even see uh, Mirage officially being drawn as a well create member so I was quite surprised they actually produced this figuring um, sadly to say we don't we are not able to purchase the um, stage um, backdrop because <clears throat> apparently the um, retailers were not able to bring this in which is kind of sad <coughs> yeah so uh, as you can see we will have another whole bunch of uh, figurines to collect so Freya has just been released um, next one would be Reina so yeah uh, eventually we obtain all five girls so Mirage will not be in this outfit though so only Mirage will only be in the main um, <clears throat> Wakure singing costume um, I would say the uh, more important costumes in the whole series uh, other than the ones that were drawn and illustrated by uh, the Macross Frontier artist so yeah let's get down to opening it um, of course I'll start off with Mirage cause she's gonna be the one that's uh, completing my previous set as you can see from the back yeah so I'm gonna, gonna open up her uh, the box and add her in so you can take a look at the full team all right so uh, nothing special about the box though um, yeah it's really nothing special except for advertisements for the uh, Macross Delta Scramble game um, I'm gonna need my ruler I'm gonna, not gonna damage my box Alright, let me grab my ruler Yeah Alright, here we go Slide this in And pop this open Pop, okay, here we go Okay, so <clears throat> apparently this is how they packed Mirage, um, the additional skirt piece um, that is kind of really long compared to Kanami's. Um, the costume is definitely similar to uh, Mikumo's as you can see from the back. Um, it's just that it's of course in the purple that Mir Mirage is well known for. So I'm gonna set her free from the plastic. I've got a 
then an additional piece and of course the main figurine herself um, Right, there we go. So, um, if you guys aren't familiar already, um, the figuring itself isn't very expensive. Basically, um, how much they retail it here in Singapore, it's about uh, 30 Singapore dollars. Um, in Japan, you basically play this off the UFO catcher, so you might end up spending more um, than 30 Singapore dollars or even less, depending on the skill. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, skill level you have for UFO catching games. So, yeah, so I'm gonna attach this to the back. There's this hole here where you're supposed to put this in. There we go. Very nice. So, looking at the details of the figuring, the hair is fantastic, I would say. Um, the only thing sad about it is that you can see the linings of where they've joined portions of the figuring. So, I mean, considering the price of the figuring, that's pretty much okay. Um, detailing for like the accessories on her neck area, the eyes, well painted, there's even some blushing here. Uh, I'm not sure whether you guys can take a look. Yeah, there you go. Very, very slender body, uh, Mirage has. <clears throat> of course, she's trying to do the Valkyrie sign. I guess you have to, maybe, I guess the, the, the hand is kind of out of place due to the, the placing of the figuring in the box. Um, loving the the skirt, a lot of panel uh, here, makes it very poofy, and the shoes, of course, there we go, so shoes are fantastic as well. Huh. Alright, so attaching her to the base, so her base doesn't, um, her base unlike the rest of the girls, the other girls have each of their own colour. Sally Mirage doesn't have anything on her base. It doesn't even have the Valkyrie symbol on it. After all, she isn't a Valkyrie member. Um, she's a pilot. <laughs> Alright, so slotting her in to the base. Alright, how do I do this? <clears throat> slot it in, slot it in. Alright, so I had to kind of stretch her legs apart mm, okay that did not sound right yeah but you get what i mean so <laughs> i had to stretch um okay no matter how i'm, I'm gonna say it it's gonna sound weird anyway so yeah i had to um put some effort into placing <laughs> onto the base okay that's as far that's as clean as i can get <laughs> okay so yeah um uh, yeah there we go she looks wonderful oh i'm so sorry about the screech okay so adding her into the group of valkyrie members and fantastic it looks fantastic. Alright, so we're done with Mirage. Um, and well, she, she's definitely meant to be in the front, I guess, considering how well it's been um, placed out here. I didn't expect it to <laughs> be so nicely placed out uh, in front of the camera. <laughs> Alright, so let's get down to the new costume. Or rather, not say new costume, right? more like um, the new version of um the figurines so um it's the blau bloom version um which is uh which has various colors if you have watched the series already it has like um this light blue and there's a black version and who knows what other colors there are uh you know um if they eventually release the movie you might even see more variations of this costume but <coughs> apparently there is only two singing costumes in the entire wakure um wardrobe uh, it's just that this version has multiple colors, but this one has only one upgrade uh, and that was shown closer to the end when they were singing their final battles, I guess. Uh, and there, I think it was episode 4 as well that, that it appeared. Um, the one that was illustrated by the Macross Frontier artist. Uh, that one was really beautiful. I have to say the design is fantastic. Well deserved to be a final costume for um, the final battle. So, let's unbox this girl out okay freya freya our ringo musume uh, trying not to damage the box as usual okay where's my ruler 
I'm gonna pop this open. Alright, there we go. Okay, pulling out the parts. Why is there scotch tape to this thing? Oh no. Alright, there we go. Okay, so unlike the other versions, this one is packed separately. Um, the stand and the figuring are not in the same kind of wrapper. Uh, the figuring itself is in a bubble wrap, which is fun to pop. <laughs> it's always fun to pop bubble wrap. Don't you guys love popping bubble wrap? I don't know. There are some people who are known who kind of find popping bubble wrap kind of um, yeah, eerie. They get, they get goosebumps when you hear the sound. And I don't know. I they just love popping bubble wrap. So, <laughs> Alright, enough about that. Okay, so the base stand for Freya, I guess it's the same um, from the first series of the Valkyrie members. Uh, it's just that I don't have Freya um, from this costume because um, my Freya and Mikumo are both from the Ichiban Kuji prizes. So as you can see from the bottom here, their bases are, are different compared to the ones we have for the uh, Crane King figurines. So yeah, Freya is red. Uh, it's pretty cute with all the stars blinking here and there uh, to show her rune is Kikai. Alright, so Freya herself. Okay, remove all the plastics. Plastics, plastics. Alright, there we go. So the only difference with this figuring and the rest of them there is that their shoes has this which is kind of ugly I guess oh she's wearing panels I mean yeah so huh, uh, quite a good detail considering that there's no underwear and all that so uh, most idols will definitely wear this when they're doing performance on stage so this is pretty accurate I guess to a real life artists uh, and yeah uh, costume details wise very nice Looking at the bow, the details, the color paint job is pretty good. Uh, looking at the belt as well, it's pretty nice. Her face, very fantastic coloring. Uh, the ribbon, the hair color, the microphone, the finger. Yeah, it's pretty good uh, considering the price of the figuring. Fantastic. Yeah, so the boots as well. Loving the boots. Alright, so let's plug her into the base. There we go, and here we go, we have Freya. So as you can see, comparing to the height, um, I guess the boots made her taller, <laughs> or even the base. The base is definitely taller than the Ichiban Kuji version. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess Freya wasn't meant to be so short, <laughs> so considering the base difference. yeah. So I guess she's roughly taller than uh, Reina by a bit, uh, considering if you have the base lifted up higher. Yeah, so there we go. Um, these are the figurines that I definitely want to unbox and show you guys. And I guess um, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Um, and if you guys love Macross Delta or even the Macross franchise, do do leave a like and comment. Tell me what you guys love about the series or about Macross Delta itself or even Macross as a whole. Um, let me know what you love about the series and thank you guys for watching as always. See you guys again soon. Bye!